<laughs> Intro! Whoa! Yay! FYI! On the DIY. On the DIY! Yeah! Okay, you're a little crazy. Nope, 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 not doing this. <laughs> Too late. You already did? <laughs> Well, let's get to it. Well, hello there, friends. It's me again, and I'm in the dining room. And today, I'm taking this wall down. Uh, so this wall, and this is something you can do. This is simple, but a couple of things you got to make sure. You got to make sure when you take a wall down that it is not a load-bearing wall. This section of the wall, see, so from that corner to that side by the door is uh, is not load bearing. But this part of the wall here is load bearing. So I'm only gonna be able to take from here out that direction. There was niches, I guess that's what you call it. Um, this one had a cupboard in it with doors on it. And then this was a built-in bookcase. I took them out, very dated, very, very 1950s, very dated. And all this space in here was basically dead space. Um, if I take you around, so <clears throat> this is the, the stairs to go down into the basement. Well, if you look up here, there is a basically a big box, a bulkhead like thing uh, that is just horrible. And it's dark in here and it's just crazy. So. We're gonna end up cutting it, so it'll be it'll be about this high, um, all the way across. Um, the bulkhead's coming out, so I've done. Hopefully, I've done some thinking about it, figuring out how this is. This light switch is below the cut, and there's no light switch here. So hopefully, because that light switch runs the light downstairs, hopefully that light switch just goes straight down to the and across uh, and and goes stays in the basement doesn't come up here. So I'm going to cut a hole in the wall, make sure about that. Um, but I'm also going to take the drywall off. I want to see the framing. Um, I want to do dismantle all the, the drywall that I'm going to take out so I can see what the framing looks like um, so that when I go to cut it and uh, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to start that process and um, I'll bring you back when the drywall is gone or unless something else happens. Okay, so I'm out of breath because it's a lot of hard work. So let me show you where I'm at right now. Ta-da! Okay, so what I did is I took my drywall saw. Before I started cutting, I put some masking tape on the wall where I wanted it. Made sure it was level, the right height, everything. Gave me a guideline. So when I took my drywall saw and I cut into the drywall and I cut all the way across, I made sure to stay above that piece of tape. The piece of tape is a guideline, like I said, so make sure that you stay nice and straight all the way across. Then, I prefer this. I, am, I have power tools. I don't like using power tools. I like having the precision going slow, making sure I do it right. So, I laid here, stuck it in the wall, or you know, right where I wanted it, and started cutting the stud out. That stud <clears throat> goes up to the top, and it's attached up at the header, up there, and here. Now that I've cut the stud, I mean, I get behind it with my hammer here, the stud will come out like this. Woo-hoo-hoo! Ooh, I should've used a tripod. And then you just pull the studs out. <clears throat> and that's it. And hey, look, there's one stud and I've got a bunch more to cut and take out. When I'm done cutting this wall <clears throat> on this line and taking all the studs above it out, I'm gonna take these studs, because these are really good, high quality, really, really tight grain studs. You can't buy lumber like this anymore, very heavy. I'm gonna cut these into pieces. 
um, you know, whatever length I need. <laughs> it's not 16 inches, but <clears throat> I'm gonna cut to, to my spacing and then I'm gonna fill in between here and here with them um, so this gap is covered and they'll be flush with the top. And that will keep these studs structurally sound from not moving. Also, when I go to put my top on here, it'll give me something to attach uh, my top to. I'm just gonna get probably like a, um, probably a one by six, I'm thinking, and put on top and then put some molding or something underneath it. Um, try to stay as close to the original um, moldings in the house as I can. So it looks like it was supposed to be a half wall here. Um, this will open that up to the basement stairs, bring in a bunch of light, and it'll make this whole entire dining room area look bigger. I mean, if we stand back here, <clears throat> you know, you got kitchen walls right here, and then that, and that's the dining room. But as soon as I take that out, look, all of a sudden I got like three and a half more feet for your eye to travel. It may not have space foot-wise, but your eye travels a little bit further, and it makes it feel bigger. You'll see when I'm done. All right, I gotta get back to work. Ooh. Okay, so another update. <laughs> I've taken out all the studs except for that corner. There is a support back there and a support in the corner. And I haven't taken those out because in order to do that, I'd have to stand on this. <clears throat> so the only thing holding this piece of drywall here and then this square piece is drywall and drywall tape. So right now, I have cut the line. Excuse me for being out of breath. So all the way along, yep. So I don't wanna disturb that wall, not yet. I just wanna take out this wall and then this support piece, or this piece. I will have a ton of cleanup down here to do. Right now it's clear so I'm not, anything that hits it it's just gonna be swept up and vacuumed up but yeah that's kind of what's going on so I'm gonna knock that out now and open that space up so let's see if I can find a place for you guys to sit probably right on top of the whoop excuse me right on top of the refrigerator maybe oh you're not gonna stay there you're gonna stay there all right so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that out. And I'm gonna do pretty much all of it with a hammer. Um, it doesn't have to go crazy because what you wanna do is take it out in as big of pieces as possible. Um, so what I gotta do is I gotta loosen up the corners a little bit. Say, hey, look, by the way, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna come back. So. So the corners are held in by drywall tape. And you know, that's the only thing holding the dry uh, the corners together. Look at that. Nice big chunk of drywall. And that is what I'm looking for. Oh look, now you can see right into that space. That's awesome. So this one, oh, I'll use the hammer again. I'll put it down there. But here, let's grab this guy. Same thing, give it kind of a nudge. So, hey, by the way, you're coming out today. There we go. And if it comes apart in chunks, little chunks, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, let's see how I want this one. So, it is a messy job. And when you do this, or if you do this, do be prepared to spend a lot of your freaking time cleaning um, because it's dusty. Everything in the house is going to get covered in dust. So just keep working at it. I always see people all the time, they say, oh, you don't want to see the rest of this. 
my thought is, why not? You know, when we cut all of a sudden to something else, and you didn't see how I did it, and then it's like, oh, well, I didn't get to experience it. <laughs> so, just be careful. You know, I'm kind of balancing myself. all this and I'm gonna have to put in new um new stuff. this little space. So when I take this stud down, I'm only going to have a little strip that I have to do anything with. Make sure to wear your safety goggles. <laughs> a little ridiculous. What a mess! That's alright. Let's see if I can pull this up now. <laughs> Woo! That's how you do it. So, make sure you use your mask. Make sure you're using safety goggles. You know what? I'm an idiot. I'm standing on a chair trying to do this. I'm not being safe. But I have opened up that space. So that column there is going to come out. And the framing for the door there is coming out. And that will just be flush all the way across. And then this wall where that opening is, I'm going to end up framing that in with <clears throat> some of this lumber that I freaking saved. So that won't cost me a dime and uh, drywall it and it'll all be good. So, all right, I'm gonna get this cleaned up before the wife gets here cause she's gonna freak out. So I gotta go get a garbage can, get all this cleaned up, vacuumed up, swept up, finish ripping out all the little detail stuff. I gotta pull nails and uh, I gotta take that header out that's up there. Yeah, that one's a bitch, yeah. Um, both the uh, top plate and the header have to come out. So I will probably end up doing that, um, just cutting at the top of this wall because the header actually goes in to the top of the wall. So I'll have to sit there and cut the heck out of that. So a lot of little detail stuff, but I gotta get it done. So use your brain, not your cracker. <laughs> Graham cracker. All right, see you soon. Oh. As you can see, sweat on my neck. I am, I'm sweating. I've been working hard and I'm almost there. Um, let me show you. Whoop, whoop. All right, so the wall that was here, so this wall that I just took down, like this that was here, this wall, was always there, okay, from day one. But the other side was not. This wall that was here, uh, here with the door in it, uh, was not always there. Um, somebody decided to frame that out, put a door there. That, that used to be a doorway to get into the garage. That will be a doorway again to get in the, to the garage. Um, I pulled in this wall down, and I kind of knew it was anyways, but it confirmed it, so... Went to pull, there was a stud here on this wall that went from the floor all the way to the ceiling.
okay, about 10 feet. And I went to pull it down and it grabbed the drywall and it pulled on the drywall. But if you look, you see this? This is the jam to the door in the garage. So I have to patch this, unfortunately, and fix this, but this is where, this is where the, the door was, right here. Weird, 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 but look, I made a mess downstairs and got a lot of cleaning to do. Thank goodness I have a broom and a dustpan. I gotta back the truck up um, and get, um, well, a lot of this, the wood, I'm going to keep and use for other little projects and stuff. Um, but all of the drywall and the paneling off that wall, because I gotta get the, all that behind the fireplace, all that paneling's gotta go. I gotta take all that down. A lot of work still to go, um, but it's open. I gotta take the header up here out, that one, and then those two boards on the wall there. Uh, but that's no big deal. Then it's just a matter of putting up drywall and calling it a beautiful day. Um, I'm glad that with the ceiling, I don't have to re-drywall the entire ceiling. I only have to patch that one spot, which is easy. Cut a strip, call it a day. The structural support of this wall is actually really, really good. Um, it's fairly solid. Uh, there is um, another 2x4 here. Uh, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking about taking this one out as well. So it's just this wall here. And I am going to put um, supports in between all of the 2x4s. So they're a little more sturdy. I'm going to put some more drywall screws in, especially along the, on the edges on the top and the bottom there. Just make it a little bit more stronger. Um, strength is definitely... Definitely something we need, more strength. So we're going to do that. Um, come to find out, so I started taking all this down, that is not a load-bearing wall. So I am still going to frame it in and drywall it um, because it separates the dining space from the living space. Uh, but that is, at least, and, unless the wife says otherwise. Uh, but that is not load-bearing, and that can come out um, if she chooses to take it out, which is very strange because this is a very long span. So they must have some really awesome joists um, in, this, in this space. So I'm not sure how they did it, but I'm sure they're engineered or something. Um, so, and I didn't see a beam up there anywhere. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Clean this up, clean up the mess, and uh, I'll be back as soon as- It has been. Airport. A really long day. Well, kinda. It is, uh, I started this at seven o'clock this morning and it is now 11 and I am done ripping out. So this is what we got um, to work with. So I'm gonna have to trim this up. This is just drywall here um, that needs to be trimmed up. And um, this window needs to be framed in. So we're gonna frame, frame this opening in. So that'll make that a flat wall. Then I'm gonna have to cut stu or, um, um, cripples. I think is what they call them. Cripple? No, not cripple. Filler, filler pieces of uh, two by fours and stick in here. Um, and then we'll end up going over this with a cap when we're done. This guy here on the corner, I think I'm still debating if I want to keep it or rip it out. It is helping to keep the wall a little more sturdy, um, but it's not going to hurt to leave it. Really, it's not. Um, the only part that's ever, it's going to kind of be weird uh, is just right here at this, this piece, um, corner post. But I, I might put it just a square. Oh, I'm not even showing you. I might I might just put like a square piece of um, wood on it and then run. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm still debating about taking this off. Um, as you can see, the way the drywall is on here, the drywall goes behind it, which tells me that it's, you know, it was part of the, the, um, the other wall that they put in. So I might take it down. I might not. I'll have to, I'll keep you up to date on that. 
I have a mess I gotta sweep and clean up. But that's it. That's got a free frame down. A little bit of drywall on the walls here and stuff. So that's pretty much it um, as far as this goes. Um, I will keep you updated as things go on. But this is this is easy. You know, um, I got a pile of, of sticks here. I'm gonna end up using a lot of this wood for um, you know different little projects and stuff and what I don't use. I'm gonna burn it outside. Uh, I am, yeah, yeah, because uh, we do fire pit stuff in the summertime, so that's what I'm going to do. So, really, it's just about cleaning up and doing a little this, a little that. That's it. So, all right, until next time, y'all have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day. Toodles, as the wife says. Bye for now.